What's happening, Shredder Nation? Happy Tuesday. Welcome to episode number 30 of Shred Your Body. I'm your host, Jesse James Jemnick. And tonight, I know I say every single week, I'm really excited. And I truly, truly am beyond excited to interview people, to dive into people's stories, to understand what makes them tick, where they came from, how they got involved with our ER shred, how it's changed their life physically, mentally, emotionally. I mean, the stories that we are hearing from the testimonials that have been pouring in literally over the last nine months are, I mean, I can't even believe them. Like I literally can't even believe some of them. And tonight I am really, really excited. You know, 30 is, is a milestone. 30 is something I want to celebrate because for 30 weeks in a row, week after week, we've had another epic story. And tonight I want to bring in the one, the only, my brother from another mother, Captain Caveman. <laughs> Captain Caveman. <laughs> What's happening, Sean? It's, that's better than Captain Underpants. Thank that you. That sure is better than Captain Underpants. So welcome, my friend, to Thank welcome you. to my call. Welcome to Shred um, Your Body. Thir 30, is it 30? 30 episodes. This is the 30th episode now. Can Thank you believe you. that? Just, Thank you, Jesse. Thank, oh. you. Thank you for doing all 30. My pleasure. Actually, yeah. I can't say I did all 30 because Rod filled in for me and then Rod interviewed me one time, one week. So Rod took two. I got 28. Rod's got two. Well, it, it, it's still, it's your call. It's, it's uh, every call has been every single call. I've loved every second of it. I yeah. love, I love the stories. I love the people and you and I, that's what motivates us. That's what it's all about. Uh, it's, that is what it's all about, dude. So, you know, let's, let's speak about that. You know, Sean, I feel like tonight, um, and I know you and I have kind of talked about, we talk about all sorts of stuff. You know, I mean, we get on these rampages and we start going deep and we have fun and, and man, do we get deep on some things that I'm like, you know, people need to know what our bigger vision is. People need to know what we talk about. People need to know what the board talks about. People need to know, you know, we're not going anywhere basically is what I really want people to know about right. this to me is longevity, this is legacy, this is lifestyle. And before I dive into anything else, I just want to ask you this, this first question. Nine months ago, mm -hmm. you called me up and you said, Jess, I got this, just hear me out. You said, just hear me out. And I said, I'll always hear you out, Sean. And you told me this, uh, this, this ER shred idea. You know, we've, we've, we've changed a little bit or whatever, but you told me this idea. And you said, bro, it has epically changed my life. Yeah. And knowing you as a, as a friend, you know, I would take a bullet for you. Um, I trust you. I know that you spent your entire life in the health and wellness industry. Your dad's a formulator. Your dad's a, basically a scientist. And in, in my mind, I, th I don't even know if your dad is, but in my mind, your dad is. I mean, that man is just a wealth of just epic knowledge that I need to actually take more advantage of. Um, um and you've gotten that and then you've gotten to this point and you've you've had all the science, all the products, all of this, you know, and what people might not know about you is you are also wildly, wildly successful. And I admire that. And I admire that so much because you're so humble that if somebody didn't actually know Sean Escobar, they would never know. And to me that I have such respect for that. That is that is that is what I that is what I want to be. Literally, right. that's what I want to be. Right. Um, and I say that to people because you literally don't have to be here. You don't have to work another day. You have worked your ass off, you and Crystal. You have built an empire, your family. I mean, kudos to you guys. Like, that's how it's done. But yet you're here. And after nine months of really putting it all on the line and really taking this big shot, this big risk that I don't even think people understand the the – <laughs> that risk really to be honest with you but it's a big risk i get it um after nine months of seeing all these testimonials and i'm not talking like 20 i'm talking thousands yeah. we're talking deep stuff we're talking blood work we're talking people i mean ha family care all sorts of stuff try to explain to me what that feels like to you knowing that that you and crystal went first and you've we didn't know what it was going to be, but here we are today. Like, can you even try to sum that up and what that feels like to you? Cause <laughs> no, 
I know it's a tough question. No, it's not. A, it's not a tough question. It's just an emotional. It, it causes so many emotions to because as you're talking, and as you're sharing all of that, I'm reminiscing and I'm thinking about. You know, it, it was a big risk. It, yeah. it, it actually, um, I think there's a lot of people that that are pro they probably were laughing at us. They might still be laughing at us. Um, there's a lot of people that think we're stupid. We're nuts. Um, we are. We've lost our minds, um, but what they don't know is all all the stories, Jesse. Listen, you know, you and I talk a lot, and when we do talk, we talk about we talk a lot about science. We talk a lot about nutrition, and you teach me a lot, and you've taught me an awful lot, and you're you're amazing. Um, but you and I, we always come to the, the agreement, don't we, that all that matters is the stories. If people's if people are being transformed, if if that is happening, okay, and and if people are getting on these calls, Jesse, Jesse, I know what this has done for you because it's done for you the very thing it's done for me. Most people, when they hit forty years old, what happens? Okay, it can trigger a midlife crisis. Yeah, and people ask themselves questions like, "Have I found fulfillment? Have I found my talents? Have I fulfilled my purpose?" Um, do I have meaning? Do I mean anything to anyone on this earth? Have I made a difference? And you and I and Crystal and Bob and Susan and Heather and Mimi and, and everyone else, okay? There's so many. Adam, I could go on and on and on forever with all the names of people that have shown up. Olivier, Justin Delaboba, they've all shown up for ER Shred. And you know what? We, we have made a difference. If nothing else happened, and you and I have a big vision, but if nothing else happened, um, the, the, the transformations that have happened, okay, all those people that have been on this very call, they're the evidence. They're the scientific evidence of what's possible when you do it the right way and you strip it down and you, you basically, you, you just throw away everything you were ever taught, turn yeah. it upside down. So, yeah. I mean, I do, I get emotional because I'm thinking about all, I'm thinking about myself, of course, my story. And then I'm thinking about all the other people who would have thought, you know, you take this, you, you take this chance and you go, you know what, there's, there's other people we got to help out there. We got to help other people. And then those people show up. That's what makes it worth it. Yeah. It does. <clears throat> now you got me thinking deep and, and trying to not be emotional. I swore I wasn't going to cry on this thing. I know you said it's going to come. Hey, look what you're doing, Jesse. Look, I mean, it's, it's your call, but look, let's look at what you've been doing, okay? You, you have a pregnant wife, Crystal, okay? Not only that, you also work a, a job that is more than full-time because you are self-employed. And we all know that when you're self-employed, you might work half days, like 12-hour days. That's mm -hmm. the thing. But look what you've – look how you've shown up for this community – week in and week out because why you see it you care and it's real it's it's actually real it's not about money no Woo! it's good no. stuff Jesse because when you hit our age you realize like I spent all I spent the last 20 years trying to make money and only trying to make money and it's not that fulfilling is it it's not that fulfilling at all no, I realized I wasted so many years chasing something that was fake. That wasn't even, it, it, it never, it, you get it and you get to a level and you're like, that's it. That's it. That That's all. Yeah. That's it. Like there's no, there's no, I don't know, dude. I, it's hard to describe how it touches your soul, how it fills a hole. Um, you know, mine, obviously, you know, my whole story. You know, life wasn't wasn't it. I, I went on this spiral. I went down this thing and and having this chance to just do what I feel. You know, you get this thing where it's like you feel like you're called to do something. Yeah. And I just feel like like you just you just called me, dude. Like you just I don't know. I don't have know. You, know have I ever have I ever told you you remind me of my father? No. Well, yes, I have. You have before, yeah. But I have. I've told you. I, try, in, I don't know how I can compare to your dad, which is what I try to grasp okay. in my head. In, so. in, in, in your ability to motivate people, okay, uh, you're in rare, as far as I'm concerned, you're in rare space 
as far as your ability to motivate people. My father knows how to motivate people. And you and my father are some of the few that have the ability to motivate me. Well, I remember when my dad got involved in isogenics and he found his calling. I mean, it lit him up. I mean, it lit him up. And he said to me once, he said, you'll understand, you will understand how it feels and how I feel one day when you find your calling. He said that. Mm. Mm. But he was 55 when he found his calling, 55. Do you feel Do you feel that with what we're doing right now, with the bigger vision, which we'll talk about more, do you feel that the ER shred is everything that's happened in life has kind of led you like to this moment, do you feel that this is that this is your calling? And and I guess what would make you feel like that if you could if you could share that? Well, I mean, they, we can get right to it. How would you like an individual like my mother prior to Isogenics, who owned a nutritional company? Um, at one point, it was a successful nutritional company, and my sweet mother couldn't get get weight off. Her digestive health was was in the pots. Um, she didn't have any energy. And here she was, the CEO of a successful nutritional company having to what? Fake it. Yeah. Now, that's what I did for, Jesse, I did that. Like, people don't know this about me. I did that from the time I was 18 and got a tapeworm and it destroyed my digestive health. Uh, you know, and that was before, even before isogenics in my professional career. I got hit with health challenges and I faked and faked and faked and faked and faked that I felt great. And I genuinely never did. I never felt great. And that is living a lie. It's just like with uh, my faith, my faith. I never felt it. I never felt it. And yet I faked it. I faked it for the wrong reasons. And I faked it because that was the easy thing to do. Well, it's the same thing with my sex abuse story, Jesse. I let that haunt me for 25 years. I lived inauthentic, inauthentic. Why? Because I'm a protector. And I do the hard things. And I didn't. And, you know, you, you, I can sit there and blame every reason under the sun. But I didn't do it the right thing, what I had to do. And you know what, when I did it, when I did the hard thing, it was like all this weight came off my chest and I could breathe more, you know? Mm -hmm. And so ER Shred is a culmination of so many things. It's crazy. Like whenever we say there's depth here, yeah. you, you people cannot comprehend what that means. Whenever we talk about this is so much more, <laughs> than a nutritional protocol. Yeah. People do not comprehend what that means and they never will until they just do it. And that sounds hypish and that sounds like, you know, bait. But you know, I know, I remember Bob said something to me. Remember, you know, uh, Bob Sivright, the mm -hmm. other, ER, you're the ER Shred Ambassador around the uh, nutrition side and he's the ER Shred Ambassador around sharing it forward. Yep. And it was the funniest thing, Jesse, Bob, he called me one day. It was like right after he got on video and he was crying. He was just bawling. Sorry, Bob. But if you guys type on the internet, Bob Sivright crying, it might pop up. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, love Bob. I love Bob so much. And he's a brother to me, just like you're a brother to me. And I remember, Jesse, he called me. I told you about this conversation. And he said, Sean, you know what? Uh, he was the biggest skeptic, used to be the biggest skeptic early on. It only took him about a month, but I give him a hard time because we're really that close. We should have just yeah. trusted him. But I said, Bob, uh, how are you feeling? He goes, Sean, he's emotional. And he goes, if I could, I would choose feeling this good and live only another 20 years than feel like I did and live 40. Mm. Wow. Why do you think people are so charged? Wow. Why do you think people are so charged? They, these people, I mean, look at the charge. These people are so charged. <laughs> it's crazy. We're like, what did we do? Yeah. Yeah. What did we do? I never I saw mean, it. I mean, 
I never saw this before. I've never either. And 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 now that you just brought that up, I'll, it's a good point to remind people: if you want part of our free community, F R E E free, <laughs> www.ershredders.com. We welcome all people. It doesn't matter where you are, where you're from. Literally, it does not matter. We welcome all people and we welcome people. I like this because I felt like I was broken. And then you come into something like this and you realize that you were never broken in the first place, baby. You were never broken in the first place. You just needed a little bit of direction. You just needed some guidance. You just needed the tracks to run on. And I know that you share the same value as me as health is our greatest wealth. You know, I've struggled with health. You struggled with health. We know uh, how vulnerable we get. We know that life is just, life's just not complete without health. I mean, you just can't show up the way that you can show up when you're vibrant and healthy from the inside out. So it's such a core thing, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, people, we're creating stuff. People said, somebody said to me the other day, they're like, you know the difference in this ER shred group? And I'm like, no, tell me. And they're like, people are posting People are sharing pictures. People are, are are telling their life story. Like we don't have to beg them. We don't have to drag them. We don't have to convince them. We don't have to do raffles. I go, I know it's crazy. Like, how'd you guys do that? I'm like, we were just real. Okay. We just- I, I, I got to share something. So share it. I remember um, what, what unfolded was I, I did the protocol and it literally brought me to life. Like it literally, it, re- it revived me. I, I actually remember thinking, oh my God, I remember feeling like this, but when I was like 17 years old, I remember feeling like I was on top of the world and I was this badass and I was like Superman and powerful and I could do anything. And I hadn't felt like that since I was 17 years old. Well, what, what unfolded, okay? People don't know this. I'm actually a very introvert type of person, okay? <laughs> like, I like being alone. I love being alone. I, I don't get that much these days because I have a big family, but I love alone time. I love quiet. I Big crowds and, you know, I get sensory overload. Um, and, and I'm not that social of a person by nature. I've learned skills in my career of how to connect with people and yep. how to do so legitimately because I also know how, how people do that in a fake way. And I don't, I don't subscribe to that. I will never subscribe to doing it from that place of just manipulation. But I found myself daily, Jesse, you'll remember this. I found myself daily popping up my phone going live and just vomiting all over whoever was what I don't even know who was watching just spewing how I felt it was just like you guys I feel so good I, yeah. I, I feel, you don't understand I feel so great and I kept doing it and I kept doing it and I kept doing it now what's so funny about it is I I'm not the type of person to do that believe it or not now I can force myself to do it if I say to myself that's a good idea that's a smart thing to do but because I don't need to, I don't. Have you seen me going live lately? I don't. I don't really like to. But at that moment when I knew I could help people, I just couldn't help it. Like I just, I just had to get it out. And that's and, and you know, and that's really where this all started. Yeah. And that's great because one of the things that I wanted to talk about was what created the ER shred movement. And that if people don't realize, like that story that you just shared right there, that's literally the birth, right? Like that's part of the birth of the movement was, you know, you tried for so many years. I remember you calling me and I was having conversation. You're like, Jess, like how much protein do you think I should get? You know, should I do this? Should I do that? My stomach's a mess. I can't, I can't even freaking drink this thing. Like I can't do that. And you're like, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> you know, I say, don't tell anybody. And I'm like, I'll never tell anybody. Um, and I'm so glad that we can share this story now because it's crazy, right? Like we live in that in that world where it's like, why, why, why shouldn't we be able to share that story? You know, why were we hiding? And and I hope that people can see 
Um, you know, they look at somebody like you or, or they look at me with fitness and like, oh, life's so perfect. Life's the, folks, life is far from perfect for both of us. Um, we both argue with our spouses. We both get in things. We both have dilemmas. We both call each other venting sometimes. Like you need your people. Like we need each other. You know what I mean? Like Sean and I are that, 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 like that person for each other. Um, and it's not perfect, but you know, what was born out of this was just a raw, real, authentic experience. And I watched with my own two eyes, one of my best friends literally go from suffering and spending thousands of countless of dollars and crystal too. I don't think people understand her health story and, and her skin and all those things. And, and I watched this with you guys. And when you called me up and said, Oh my God, bro, her skin's cleared. My gut is no longer like I can, I can drink these. I can do this. And you're just like, I was like, Whoa, like, whoa, you know, and that authentic, real experience is really how this amazing, I call it a phenomenon. I think it's the best freaking health protocol that's ever been put together at this point in time. Um, I'm going to keep saying that. And I really do. I've been doing this for a lot of years. I didn't hear, um, I didn't hear you. Cut, Jesse, you cut out. You call it what? I just call it the best damn health uh, experience, program, trip, call it whatever you want. I don't even know what to call it. It's yeah. just, it, it's just, it's just amazing. Like, it's just amazing. You know what I mean? It's simple. You're, you're, you're not, I, to my knowledge, there's nothing on the planet that no. will completely just, I mean, people do a 180 and it's only about five days. Yeah. Uh, if you got five days and you give us five days, uh, I think you're going to realize a new you. Yeah. And that new you, you're probably going to say to yourself, oh, my, where have you been? I remember you when I was 14 or 12 yeah. or whatever it might be. I just remember crying, Jesse. Like, I seriously remember crying tears of joy, the same tears that you've seen on this call, the same tears on our Wednesday night Come Alive call, the tears of joy realizing that, oh my God, I'm not going to spend the rest of my life not knowing, not even ever feeling great. I was a caffeine addict. People don't know that, like really bad caffeine addict because I had no energy and I would slurp that crap down all the time and it's, it would stop working. My adrenals failed me. I could go on and on with all the different health challenges that I've personally experienced, but I know that that's not where we're going with this. I remember I, I I tried everything under the sun. I tried everything that I could find. And, uh, you know, I called an old friend uh, that I knew from way, way back. I knew him really well. And uh, he was a health professional. And he, and he, I said, are you still vegan? He goes, uh, no. He goes, <laughs> he goes, that put me in the hospital. <laughs> He goes, I ended up in the hospital with leaky gut and uh, chronic inflammation all over my body. And, and uh, he, I says, well, what you doing now? And anyway, we got to talking. And, yeah. and the thing he talked to me about, Jesse, which really, what does ER shred start with? It starts with an E. And uh, he told me about uh, elimination. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking to myself, this is a real critical moment in the birth of ER shred. Actually, probably the most critical moment. I remember he taught me these concepts and I was very appreciative of him. And then I, I, uh, I kind of started to think about it a lot. And then I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Meat, meat, we're eating meat, okay? Well, what's trending right now, Jesse, is you will see all over the internet, it's coming. If you thought that veganism was trending, wait till you see what's coming. Yeah. yeah. Because people are starting to realize that the native ancestral way of eating was animal fats and animal proteins. Yep. And what we've done with ER Shred is actually pretty damn genius. And Jesse had a lot to do with that. Jesse Jamnick had a lot to do with that, with his nutritional background. And we consulted on all of this extensively. I remember, Jesse, when I was doing this protocol, I thought to myself, meat? <laughs> And I remember thinking to myself, I remember someone told me, because right now you're going to see it, guys. Mark my words. You're going to see meat 
all over the place. People getting well with meat. There's already cancer doctors who are treating their patients with what? Meat. Meat. Prescribing meat. And people are actually, believe it or not, seeing improvement, which, you know, I'm not making it up. Go read about it. Okay. Yeah. Bottom line is I'm thinking about it, Jesse. I'm thinking meat, 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 meat. It's, it's just killing me because, you know, like you said, I have a little bit of nutritional, uh, you know, I've got, I've got some education around nutrition. I've been doing it my whole life. I've, I've been in, you know, weightlifting since I was 14 years old. My, my parents owned a nutrition company. My father is, uh, you know, a nutritional uh, formulator. I remember I finally figured it out. I said, wait a minute, me? Wait, I kind of flipped it and I said, are people getting well because the meat? Or is it because they're getting off all the other shit? You see what I'm saying? Meat sustains and meat is, meat is you know, is yeah. fantastic. We love meat. Yeah. But when the E clicked in my brain, when the E clicked, wait a minute, it's so sustaining, okay? It's so, it's so obvious we were genetically built to eat it. It's so sustaining that it will kill your cravings. It will kill your hunger. Uh, it will absolutely sustain you like you couldn't believe. And guess what? You'll have the ability to get off all the things that are actually doing the harm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what we did, what we did, Jesse, by combining the ancient uh, native ancestral way of eating and, and learning for our, our bodies, learning to go fat adapted. Okay, learning to burn fat for fuel. And all the education that you've offered us around that, and you couple that with modern day nutritional advances in science, and you combine these things, you combine all these things, you know, he calls it, Bob calls it lightning in a bottle. Yeah. He says, if you caught lightning in a bottle, would you ever want to let it go? It's magic. It really is magic. And that's why people are coming alive. And that's why our... Our phrase is come alive. You you ever got high? You ever got high? <laughs> I'll tell you right now, this, this, this will get you high, and it that high never dies off. That high, believe it or not, Jesse, I think I am 10 months now, ER shred lifestyle. 10 months, okay? It's only gotten better, bro. Yeah. Like I only feel better, and I only feel more confident, and I only feel stronger and I only feel more satisfied and, and more positive and my emotions are becoming more refined, which I didn't even know that, you know, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. ER Shred does something at an emotional level. You, I mean, my wife wouldn't agree with me right now that I'm a better person today, <laughs> but my wife overall, I think she would acknowledge that in the last 10 months, and she has two, Jesse. My wife, in the last 10 months, if we weren't talking about the weight loss and we weren't talking about the gut health and the brain and, and the, the mental stuff and the emotional stuff, it, it, well, actually, I want to focus on the emotional because if all we were talking about was the emotional, that was it. Mm -hmm. Oh, my heavens, you have no idea what's in store for you. And only the people that can claim that they came alive know what I'm talking about. And you can teach an old dog new tricks. You you can learn new things. You can fi find passion. You can find passion and enthusiasm for life all over again. It's yeah. all predicated upon how you feel. Who'd have thought? Get feeling well. Watch what. Watch all your problems disappear. That's the miracle. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what's great? You know what I love the most? You just said something, and it's. What I love and the reason, you know, somebody had posted up when I made my claim and I know I, I make that claim and it's a bold claim, but I, I will stand by it and I will fight you. I'll, I'll literally get in a knife fight over it. Not a gunfight, but a knife fight. That's how serious I am about this. Um, when you've watched somebody go stay with us for two, three, four, five, six, seven months. Okay. Seven months. I've been coaching for well over 15 years. I have put myself through absolute hell when it comes to nutritional protocols and, you know, sports and endurance and pushing the limits and all that kind of stuff. 
what what really lights me up on the inside is watching people fall back in love with themselves. Oh. Sean Escobar. Like it is so touching. It is so moving because when somebody can authentically love themselves, I spent fucking years not caring about myself. Like and wondering if you have value. Do I even have value? Not even thinking I want to be here anymore. And it's it's crazy what can trigger that shit. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's crazy. Fuck shit. It's crazy what can trigger that. And when, when, when you see people 70 years old playing with their grandkids again, like thinking that life was over, you know? And when you see... Uh, you know, people people coming home from work and being able to not just sit on the couch and actually spend time with their their daughter or their son or or their their loved ones or their spouse. Like it's a fucking special thing, man. And I've never ever see people are miserable usually. I am crying like a baby right now. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> like, um, it's it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Let it let it out, bro. I mean, dude, my my dad just walked in. My dad's 67, right? He's lost 80 pounds in the last year. I mean, I get to spend time with him, quality time, like my new one that's coming. Like he's gonna be able to to walk with them and 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 do things with them. I am talking about you. Um, you know, uh, you know, have a good day. Hey, Neil, how you doing, Neil? <laughs> no one says hi. But it's like, you know what I mean? Like to be able to, to to just have that and feel that and then watch that with so many people. Like, I don't know if it's because I feel like I messed up so much and I feel like I got to serve. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what it is, Sean, or maybe it's just it's just me as a person. Like I've always been giving, giving, even though I've done stupid things and been around stupid people and, and went the wrong way. Like I, I was always weird. You know I, what I mean? Like, I, I know what it is. You know um, I, mean? I, I want to tell you what I think it is. Please. Um, because I see, I, I've learned so much, you know, the great thing about a relationship is like crystals taught me a lot. And, um, I used to think early on and I can, I can say this, it's raw, it's real. I can say yeah. this because my wife is a genuine person. My, my wife, I used to judge her as someone who wanted attention. Mm. And when she would be on like her blog or Instagram or what have you, I would be judging her as someone who wants attention, who needs attention. Um, I, it's only, again, it's only in recent, uh, in, in the recent past that I've realized it had nothing to do with attention, nothing. Uh, my wife is genuine and sincere as of a person as they come. What a beautiful person. And what it was. My wife was raised dirt poor, man. My dad was raised dirt poor. My wife has so much trauma that, I mean, I have some trauma in my life, but it was, it was incidental. It, it was isolated incidents. I had a great upbringing. I had a great childhood. My wife's childhood, I know, I know, the story and I know the stories and I know all the incidents and I know all the fucking negligence. Okay. Horrible negligence that just kills me because my wife doesn't deserve that. She's a good person. Mm. And all everything my wife has been doing all these years, trying to show up, she's trying to show up for what reason? It's because she wants to, she wants to be valuable. She yeah. wants to have value. She wants to help, to serve, to, to show like I'm here. And, and, and even though I had a her upbringing compared to mine, I mean, she's an F. I'm an, I'm an A. She's an F. It's not fair. That's the cards we were dealt. Uh, you know, I wish she had an A upbringing. She didn't. It's a dysfunctional family. It's a mess. A lot of good people came out of that family, though. So mm -hmm. I will say that. But the bottom line is... She is desperate, not for attention. She's desperate to contribute and to offer value. And it's all born of her story. And if you don't know her story, then you probably just judge. See? 
as everybody does, as I did. Yeah. You're bringing mass value, Jesse James Jamnick. You have brought mass value. There's no one who's brought more mass value to ER Shred. And the reason I contacted you is because I valued you as a mentor. Now, even though we're about the exact same age, I valued you as a nutritional mentor because you have a strange, unique ability to take complex things. And I know you know very complex things. And I know you study very complex things because we've had some conversations that, that a lot of conversations that show me you know your shit. But rather than appearing as the macho scientist type guy who talks down to everybody, you do something very unique that not, I don't, I'm not aware of anybody else that really does it. You take complex things, you break it down into simplistic form and you offer it up to the layman and they go, that makes sense. That's why we all love you. It's a very unique talent. I don't know where you got it from. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. I'm just going to roll with it and say thank I'm you. I'm it up. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know because I'm thinking of the stuff you're telling me about Crystal. No, that's no pressure, bro. No pressure. There's no pressure. You've already shown up enough. So just keep doing what you're doing. I'm not I'm not trying to add pressure to you. Like, keep, keep you know, show us more, Jesse. Show us more. You guys, ER Shred is enough. And if, if we don't accept that, if we don't understand what ER Shred is, ER Shred is enough. We're not going to be tacking on all kinds of products onto ER Shred trying to make more money off people. That's what, not what this is about. Mm. ER Shred is not about exploiting people. ER Shred is an empowerment movement on so many levels. And we're doing this for the right reasons. We're doing this because at 40 years old, we found a calling. And yeah. Crystal found a calling, and Bob found a calling, and Heather and Susan and Mimi and, and Adam and Olivia, we've all found a calling around ER Shred. And you know what? It doesn't matter what it becomes. Yeah. It, it doesn't really matter because it's been a lot of fun, and we've changed a lot of lives. And are we going to go change more lives? Why wouldn't we? It's the right thing to do. Why wouldn't we do that? So the right thing to do. <laughs> Why we need to scream it from the rooftops, you know? Um you know, you, you, I've always told you this, but you, you believed in me. You know, I came in, I met you six years ago and I came into this and I was lost. I mean, life was lost. I was in the process of going, you know, through divorce and, and life was changing and I was, I was lost and I was living this lie and going down the wrong path again. And, and it was like the story of my life. It was like this deja vu over and over. And, and for whatever reason you, you believed in me. And I always tell you this, like, I don't think you understand how much you saved me. And I want to share something with you. You said that what you do is enough and no pressure. I feel zero pressure today. I feel zero pressure because all I do is just wake up every day and just try to be a better human. And that for the first time in, in many, 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 many years, I am 1000% okay with that. I am happy with that. Like me or don't like me. I don't give a flipping fuck anymore. You know what I mean? And I, I'm just going to say it how it is. And in you, you helped me with that. And I feel like we, this is our way. You know what I mean? We've, we, you came through that. You crawled through that with your abuse and things and crystal crawled through that. And, and so many of our, it's not just us. I need people to understand like Sean and I are, are it's not us. It's all, it's, it's every single person that shows up, Sean, that starts to believe that starts to, you know, everybody has a story, right? And, and it's all dramatic because it happened to you and together as a whole, you know, you, 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 you casted this concept of let's, let's, instead of each lighting our own fire, let's bring it all to one big bonfire where everybody can get warm and everybody can eat and everybody can feel love and everybody can get whatever they need because collectively as that whole. And for me, it's that, that piece, right. That's come together with that. And it's just an amazing thing. So, you know, I think that touched on why this means so much to us. That was one of the things that I wanted to do of where the ER shred was born. I'm trying to not to go so deep because Lenny, I'm going to sit here. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny's going to be on on Thursday. Oh. I got to name drop Lenny because like Lenny is so much, he deserves so much credit. Oh. I mean, he deserves so much credit. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he, this is Lenny guys. If, if you ever hear the phrase come alive, that's Lenny. That's Lenny. 
That's crazy. I mean, and he's going to be on on Thursday. So give Lenny love and make sure you show up. I think he's going to – listen, you know what, Jesse? Uh, what was next? You, you basically just said we covered one subject matter. What was the next? Because something's – on my heart, but I don't want to steer the call where I want to go. If you know, no, you get listen. This call, I just want people to see. This is our calls. Like I want to, um, I want to give people an insight of where we're. At. I mean, my big thing is, you know, what what created it? What was what? It, why does it mean so much to us? Why are we? You know, we're in a position that we don't necessarily have to, you know, sacrifice all this time and do all this stuff. But why do we do that? Why does it mean so much to us to be here for all of these people and for us? Why, how does that serve? It's a selfish thing. Okay. Right? Okay. But listen, and then also, what's the bigger picture? Yeah. And kind of where do we envision the shred to be so people can All see right. that, that long term? But you go. Right. You go. Right. So um, bigger picture. Oh, my God. It's so fun. Crystal and I have had so much fun doing this. And you know what? You attract the right kinds of people. Like right there. That's just something that I, you know, our fulfillment company is a network. And network marketing has uh, a lot of stigma around it. Yep. Now, I didn't choose network marketing. I didn't choose it. Um, my parents were involved in network marketing when I was a kid. My parents did own their own network marketing company at one, at one point in time. My parents became the, the number one income earners in a company called Isagenics in 2002 um, and they were the first ever millionaires in that company um, my exposure to network marketing is that's all I know it's it's just my you know and you know what I wouldn't choose network marketing I wouldn't choose it but and, and let me tell you why because I don't like the parts about the money I don't like it and I never have, and I, and I don't actually think it's because of a religious upbringing or anything like that. It's just that money makes things dirty. Mm. Money makes things dirty, and you can you can. There are people that are do things for money that's unethical. There's people that do things for money, and that's all they care about is money. When they look at you, all they see is a dollar bill. And I always had this internal struggle because. On the one hand, I had all these people telling me, not my parents, but other people telling me that in order to be successful in the industry of network marketing, I had to, I mean, I felt like they were asking me to sell my soul. Mm. It's like, you have to promote money on the front end. It's gotta be about the money. And I could never get with it. And to this day, I'm, I'm 19 years into a professional network marketing career. I have never, ever led with money. And we've been very successful. And, you know, I, I got to tell you what, I don't need to do network marketing. Um, network marketing, it served a purpose for me. It, it took a guy that barely made it out of high school. <laughs> uh, I didn't like school. And I never went to college. I dropped out, out after one class. And it gave me a, a unique uh, opportunity to make something of myself. And, you know, thank God I had good mentors who taught me the right ways of doing things. And I did it the right way. Crystal and I can say that we did it the right way. But I keep feeling called back to network marketing. And I can't figure out why that is because it's not about money. And I will tell you what it is. It's a, it's a tremendous environment for people who are less fortunate people who haven't had a fair, you know, we talk about the little guy. We talk about let's, you know, let's stand up for the little guy. What about the, you know, when you raise gas prices, when you raise the cost of everything, what about the little guy? Nobody's thinking about the little guy and, and it's not right. Mm -hmm. But the network marketing industry is an industry where a little guy can actually make something of themselves. Okay. Whether it's a man or a woman, it's usually women. But what I found is it's the best kind of people on planet earth. The right ones, the ones that do it for the right reasons, the ones that are not consumed with just money. These are the best people that you will find on the planet Earth. They are good people. There's yep. something special about it. And so we have to embrace the fact that this industry is highly effective. Like, Jesse, we talk about results, right? What's what matters? Results. Well, 
we can reach a lot of people this way, Jesse. I don't know how else. It's the only thing I know besides, you know, but we, we have so much influence already and we can reach a lot of people. We can help so many people. And you know what? It's done through relationships. And if you can find a, I've always said this, if you can find something that actually does work and you know it works. So I come to my friend, Jesse. I go, Jesse, oh my gosh. Jesse, think about it. Did I not give you a gift? You gave me the biggest gift ever. <laughs> but, but think about that, Jesse. I know. I didn't know I was giving you a gift. All I knew is I love Jesse Jamnick. This changed my life. You would have done the same for me. For sure. You would have done the same for me. And so together, what did we do? I just kept telling you, remember? I kept telling you and I kept telling Bob and I kept telling Crystal, we have to help people with this. Everybody's gonna think we're crazy. They're all gonna think we've gone off, you know, we're off our, our rockers, but we have to help people with this. And how is it done? How, what better way than relationships? Yeah. Reason you're so happy, dude. The reason you, I see so much genuine joy in your soul, and it's right now I'm looking at you, it's actually radiating through this computer. And the reason is because all the lives touched because of you. Dude, that's amazing. Like, that's the, as far as the vision of ER Shred, to me, that's all that matters. Yeah. That's all that matters to me. It's like, hey, Jesse James Jamnet, did you come alive? Yes, I did. Go wake up others, bro. <laughs> There's your business model. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love that. You know, I, I sometimes I think people get stuck in, and they get, you know, that I'm glad that you brought that up, that stigma that's around it. Um, you know, in my experience, um, you know, before Isogenics, I, I had been involved in quite a few and I understand, I appreciate actually where people can come with a bad uh, mindset because I'll be honest, when I first got introduced to this, I was that person. I had been quote unquote screwed. I had been, you know, the, it wasn't the right thing. And funny enough, Sean, it was me that actually wasn't the right thing because there's examples in every place, but you find a place in a home and I found this to be home. And one of the things that I think people don't realize is that number one, from a health standpoint, from a product standpoint, I have, I mean, I, I've had access to everything across the board. I have never come across higher quality products than, than what comes out of this industry. So that's something that I think people need to, whatever, forget about everything else. Forget about the, don't even come into it because you think you want to build because I'll be, I'm just going to tell you majority of you will not do it. You will not put in the time. You will not put in the energy. You will not whatever, but what you can still get out of it. What I have gotten out of it is some of the closest friendships that I've ever had that I never thought that I would ever have in my life. Genuine people like you, Sean, I would never have met you if I just didn't open my mind and say, yes, I would never have met Bob. Who's a, who's a financial, you know, guru on wall street i would have never met lenny i would have never met heidi i would have never i mean you get the point right there's so many people that you just can get into and and the environment and the uplifting and it's it's, it's a group of people that just want to be better i don't see where that's so bad you know what i mean like people that just surround you with that energy and that awesomeness every day it's just it's an amazing thing it's just an amazing thing would you would you choose like uh, would you choose to have uh, you know, in line with what Bob told me about living a long life, uh, would you choose to have, you know, 20 really powerful relationships that go deep, they go really deep? Or would you rather have, you know, a couple hundred that are very surface level, superficial, uh, you know, <clears throat> look, look good relationships? I, I, I am so craving depth, you know, and my wife, we are so craving depth. And this community is is a rare one because what you see yeah. coming out of people, what's born of people, when they get back to a natural state, the natural person in them comes out. Mm. Almost like if you were to take, you know, chains off and locks and all these straps and binds and take it all off and 
I'm here. This is me, April McLean, bro. Oh my gosh, if people knew her, I saw it. I yeah. witnessed it with my own eyes. Yeah. Tasha, oh my gosh, Tasha and uh, you know, Rick. Oh my god. Brad. They they rip all this stuff off. And they're like, here I am. Here I am. Do you like me? And they're like real and they're vulnerable and they're raw. And they're sincere. And and they've never even known they could be that way. And you're like, we love you. It's it's pretty special. I've never seen anything like it. I know I keep saying that, but there's Rocio, man. There's another one. It's Rocio and Steven. It's like, I've never seen anything like it. I think that's why, what is ER Shred? ER Shred is an 11 day, uh, Susan, <laughs> you guys are going to make me choke up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and Susan and I connected years ago, just like you and I did, Jesse. And you know, yeah. when you meet, when you're craving authenticity, when you're craving authenticity, what is real, not what is seen, mm. not what people show you. When you can get through the fluff, you know, have you ever met someone and you go, whoa, what? kindreds, they call them, kindred souls? Yeah. Susan Rothman for me is a kindred spirit and a kindred spirit. The moment I met her, and that was probably, I don't know how many years ago that was, but I was like, what, what the hell was that? It's like a zing. We zinged. Yeah. <laughs> special person and we all are coming to this space all of us and it's not because i'm so great like i want to make sure we know something jesse jesse james jamnick bob sivright myself heather uh you know all of us okay susan and adam and all of us bob everybody you guys one thing that's special about this community crystal my wife one thing that's very special about this community is this is not about us. Mm. This is not about us. This is not about us glorifying people. In fact, what I learned from my my religious, <laughs> my lifetime religious, you know, <laughs> I learned that I don't want to glorify people and I certainly don't want to be glorified. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. And, and you know what? We're all good. And we're all great at something. And we're yeah. all showing up. We're all brought our logs, right? Yeah. And we all got these logs. And we're chucking these logs on the fire and you know everybody's showing up and they're chucking those logs i want to give a, a nice uh shout out to a, another friend of mine and i won't mention her by name because uh she is an er shredder and i'm not going to say mention her name because it's private information but she got some hard news recently she's a little down in the dumps and i just i want to tell you out there uh i love you and i'm sorry and it's all you're going to be just you're going to be great and you're gonna come through it just fine. Um, and we're all gonna be cheering you all the way along the way. I'm, you're in my heart. Mm. You right there just summed up everything. Just right there. If you didn't, if you didn't realize, I mean, that's what it's about. Like that's what you just did. You just stopped everything. Like this could be all about you. This could be about how you started it. This could, but it, if people understand us, like it's not that at all. It is the complete opposite of that. And you being able to do something like that just showed. Oh, man. I love people so much. Like, I, I really do love people. Um, and I can read people. I, I think I have a unique ability to to read people. I, I know when people are sincere. I know when people are insincere. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm, I've been so fortunate in my life to be raised by the parents that I have. I've been so fortunate to have the mentors I have in my life and to have the exposure to, to wonderful people. You don't know, Jesse, how many times I get off the phone with you or Bob and I tell my wife, like, what did I do to, to deserve such good people in my life? These are very good people. These are nice people. Like you have, and, and I tell her, and you know, I don't know if it's meaningful for her to hear that from me, but it's very meaningful for me um, because you could go your whole life and maybe not have a real friend. Uh, someone that actually, they actually like you. Usually there are other motives, uh, usually, it, it, or it's there's just no depth. What if you were able to open up to everybody? And what if you were able to just expose your soul and they loved you 
And I, you know, Jesse, there's an empowerment movement around ER Shred that's not about nutrition and it's not about health. Uh, there's an empowerment movement around ER Shred that's about letting us see what you were like when you were a five or a six year old. Show yeah. us that. And you know who showed us that? Mimi, the clown. Yeah. <laughs> who showed us that? Heidi. I mean, who shows us that every Mike Jones? Yeah. Like these people are showing up and they're like, hey, yo, you want to see what I like? You want to see what I can do? You want to, and you're, you're like, oh my God, I love you for that. I don't, you know, and, and maybe they never did it because they were afraid of being judged. But this, I hear a lot about this no judgment zone. <laughs> Easy to say. I hear a lot about this. I hear a lot about this one team concept. Easy to say. Sounds good, don't it? But man, we're living it. Like we live it so well. And that's yeah. that's really, I think, why we're so also madly in love with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's hard to describe until you actually honestly experience it, you know. And that's funny. Remember, I told you that person brought up the group and, and I brought up that same thing, you know. I was like, we're just truly living one team, like one experience. Like nobody, everybody's equal. Everybody's equal no matter what. And, and, and you're perfect. Like you're perfect the way you are. And it's cool because we all get to just, we, we're there for each other in a genuine way. People are, can pick each other up and, and lift each other and, and comfort each other. And people have conversations outside of this. I mean, look at April now calling people, you know, from where she was to now. I mean, now, I mean, it's the beauty of just sharing and passing and building and, 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 and one by one, one person by one person, one life by one life. It's just, it's an amazing thing. It's such an amazing thing. Well, listen, dude, what else? Where do I think it's going, Jesse? Here, can I tell you where I think it's, what's coming? Please. Okay. So I was basically told by four out of my five mentors that I, I was pretty much, let's just put it this way. The, the, energy, <laughs> the energy was that Sean, you know, the energy, okay? The energy was that, you know, Sean, you're kind of an idiot. <laughs> I still love all these people very much. Uh, these are all people that are 10, 20, 30, somewhat years older than me. Um, but I was basically told that, that I was an idiot. Uh, meat in this climate is not marketable. An elimination. Elimination, <laughs> you might as well sell root canals. Yeah. <laughs> People that don't need them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. The other thing that was, if you kind of think about it, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, we're doing this through a network marketing model. Why? Why? That's... Is that the right the right thing to do? I actually thought about starting my own company. This is how passionate I was about my results. Do you remember this? I do. <laughs> we talked about it. I actually, I have enough money. Okay. I, I, I thought about starting my own company and I thought, you know what? I'll come out with all the things that we need and da 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 da. And I remember I just kept feeling this this strange pull. It's like, why start over? Like, why start over? What about all these people? Now, here's the thing. What I didn't know was that so many of the same people who I had worked with for years, they were also hiding. They were also hiding their own personal health crisis for a very yeah. long time. Yeah. And guess what? They could not live authentically. Connie yeah. Norlean, man. Whoa, Connie. What a result Connie had. And you know what? Has she come alive? Oh, my gosh. And does she look 15 years younger? <laughs> and, and so, Jesse, like, all these people hiding, shrinking, lying. Did they know they were lying? I say lying. I don't mean they were lying. Right, but I know. Yeah. I personally am hard on myself, and I feel like I lived a lie. Yeah, I actually do. But along the way, I helped a lot of people. I had good intent. Yeah, I was lying about my own personal health. I don't know. I didn't. It was hard. You know, what do I do? Hey, guys, my health sucks, but but I can help you. What am I supposed yeah. to do with that? 
But here's what's coming. I actually believe, uh, I know our shred is not a, tr uh, a fat. I know it's not a fat. But I actually believe that it's going to trend in a very big, big way. I remember you being on a call with you, Jesse, and I remember you said something that took me back. And uh, you said, you just, you like spatting off all this information. And then you know, all of a sudden, you know, as you do, you're, you're like, uh, all of a sudden you go, ER Shred is going to be the number one nutritional protocol on the planet. And I remember like, I was like, it was one of those moments was like, what did he just say? <laughs> can, you said, can he say that? Is he allowed, is he allowed to say that? <laughs> but dude, like, I know of nothing. Hey, listen. Okay. Have you ever seen uh, the movie Limitless? It's with Bradley Cooper. I have seen that. Yeah. You know, he takes this little pill and everything changes. Okay. Everything changes. Lightning in a bottle. It's lightning in a bottle. What is going to trend? Like on one of the, I know you know this because you up on this stuff real good. One of the people said that they had been essentially diagnosed by a medical doctor with being allergic to anything processed. Remember that? Yeah. That's what they said. Yeah. There was another one who said something to the effect of, I am allergic to any kind of unnatural sweetener, any kind of unnatural sweetener, okay? Um, and any kind of, you know, chemical nature, artificial, anything like that. They said the word allergic, didn't they? Two different people is what I remember. Yep. And they both, it both came from doctors. My son plays on a soccer team. There's a player on that soccer team. This is so interesting. These are 12 year olds and there's a player on that soccer team who has had a very severe, uh, what's this one called? The hip flexor, severe hip flexor injury for about a year now. And it's haunting this little soccer player. It's been going to the doctor. A doctor, think about this. A doctor says to him, try going off gluten. Huh? flexor bro he goes off gluten and he heals he goes back on gluten it returns you understand what i'm saying how do you connect these dots and yet if we've got doctors that are starting to connect the dots and realize it's pretty damn simple yeah the solution is actually a lot more it's so simple that you can't even see it those of you watching who you've never tried er shred it's just too simple for you to ever comprehend and sometimes simplicity is the ultimate form of genius we strip it down we strip it down we take it all away it's the only way you can do it take it all away and then learn for the first time in your life to listen yeah and to hear and guess what? Your body speaks. Your body talks to you in so many ways. It's a phenomenon. And just like animals can smell water, just like chickens know when to go up in that coop, just like frogs know when to start croaking, just like mating season just somehow happens with all these animals and it just hits and they feel it, they sense it. Right. And you begin to realize you're an animal <laughs> and it's okay. Yeah. You're an evolved animal, but guess what? You've got in there some pretty amazing natural instincts that you didn't know you had. Mm -hmm. And ER Shred is going to actually, it's its going to allow you to recognize them, to bring them out and start to use them in your life. Yeah. It definitely allows people to 
really take back control and and be in charge you know what i mean like you know we talk about this it's funny you know sean talks about these animals and we talk about this a lot you know and he's like I don't, last time we we, got, we were on a call you're like i don't know does an animal feel that and i'm like well i don't know sean let me go let me go ask him you know <laughs> it's like you know but but if you guys really think about it you know simplicity really is genius and and the er shred is genius because of its simplicity and that's why it's got to stay the way that it is you know what i mean like there's so much compact depth of scientific research that's in the er shred but it's the simplest thing to stick to and what it what it what it affects and what it goes after and what it does on from the inside out is just so profound and, and we see that with the results. We see that with the people. We see it when they're coming back. And, you know, Sean, I think one of the biggest problems that we have, you know, because we study not just food, but I love to study the history of food and where it changed and why it changed and what money let it or what this let it or whatever let it, right? And I think one of the biggest things that we've fallen off course with is that we've fallen off course with nature. Hmm. You, know, you think back to our ancestors, like they were one with the land. They were one with the land. Like they, they fed off the land in times, in times that it was abundant, they stored fat. In times that it was scarce, they burned fat. Like they knew when it was peak and when it was down and just like the animals and just like the plants and just like, you know, just like everything around us. But yet for some reason, well, I know the reason because for 60 years plus we've been fed bullshit and we've been fed propaganda to steer us in the direction, right? I see it on like a show that I'll watch with Crystal every every now and then. We'll watch a TV show and I'm like, look at the propaganda bullshit that's plugged into this stuff that's direct on shows today. Like I'm talking like Chicago PD and Grey Anatomy and all these popular shows. It's like they're constantly steering us in this thing. And what the ER shred is, is the reason we won't give you you know, it's not that we can't tell you what foods would probably work for you, but what's the, what's the joy? What's the power in that? You know, we bring it back to that ancestral way. We've juiced it up with the 21st century, but really the beautiful thing, Sean, we allow people to get back to that natural animalistic instinct because you are right. Like, look at us from the inside out. We are freaking animals. We share 99% of our DNA with a gorilla. We're an animal. We're a freaking sophisticated. Well, you know what? And we're not humble animals. Well, we, we are no, not, we're not humble animals at all. We, we think we're so much smarter than we really are. We, yeah. We're so smart. We invented the iPhone. And <laughs> we're destroying our earth. The damn iPhones destroyed our earth. And we're so proud. Yeah. Look what we did. We built the world's tallest tower. And doing so, you know, building these towers all over the earth, is that good for the earth? Like, you do, you know, once you get, strip it down, and you'll feel like, it's weird. When you strip down your diet, you'll feel the desire to strip down other things. Oh, yeah. You'll feel this interesting, intrinsic thing where you're like, you know what? What else, what else am I, been, what, what else have I been lied to about? What else have I been fooled about? What else could I make change for the better? You see? And that's what I found. I feel like I've finally grown up, you know, like that's how I feel. I feel like I finally started to own my own thoughts, yeah. and my own feelings, and, you know, and, and, and pride myself on not taking other people's word for anything. I'll, I'll take my own. And you know what? I go by feels now. Instead of like, oh, you should hear this. Scientist said this. Oh, this doctor said this. Oh, this financial guru said this. This celebrity said this. I don't give a shit what anybody said. Let me feel it. Yeah. Let me feel it because I've got a bullshit. I've got a bullshit sensor right here. It's called my heart. And all I've been doing all my life is using this because that's what everybody tells you to use. Start using this and some pretty amazing things are going to happen in your life. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, brother. Listen, I know we could go on and on and on. Um, let, let's do this. I want you to close this with, um, with the message for this nation, this shredder nation, 
this 22.3 thousand collective shredder nation and 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 for those that haven't joined us yet for those that might watch this what's what is that message from you that you want to leave with and we have a lot more to talk about and more to go into and stuff obviously in the future but what's that message that you want to leave with today what's sitting on your heart that you just want to share out yeah there? well like er shred the uh, the culture the community it's it's not for everybody it's not and that's okay if listen if you hear if you hear jesse drop an f word and <laughs> and it offends you then this community might not be for you yeah and the reason for that isn't because it's not because we lack respect for you it's not it's because this community is about letting people be what they are and if you can't do that if you can't realize that what jesse says or what jesse wears or what jesse looks like or if if he can't be his true self how he feels comfortable what he was I mean, he's a product of his environment. He's a product. And Jesse, I'm not just talking about you. Jesse, for the first time in my life, I've I've turned into a, I've always wanted to be this really honest person. Mm. And ethics mean everything to me. I, I want to be known by my children as someone that told the truth. I want to be known as someone that told the truth, even if it would cost me, right? And that is one of the things that I want to hang my hat on. I want that said at my funeral that this guy did hard things and he told the truth even when it was unpopular. And he he did hard things even when he knew it was going to cost him greatly. Well, you know what? This is the first time in my life I've actually, I'm myself. Myself, child, we all probably were in large part, but... Guys, re- rediscover your child. Um, come, come to ER Shred, and rediscover joy for life. Uh, you're gonna find something pretty special is gonna happen. Do you remember being a kid? And do you remember being inside? And it was like a rainy day. And and do you remember that that anxiety? Do you remember this? Like I gotta get outside. I gotta get outside. I want to play baseball. I want to climb a tree. Just anything. And I'm telling you, man, Lenny. Lenny epitomizes this. If y'all don't follow Lenny Evans, go follow Lenny Evans and you'll see someone who rediscovered their inner child and he's playing and he's in nature and we're called to nature. That's part of this. We're called to nature. We get out, we get our our bare feet on the ground. We ground, we become one with the earth. We're going to heal this earth. Maybe not just us, but together, we're all going to heal this earth just by, just by realizing what we've done. (laughs) <laughs> hey, go watch the movie, yeah. guys. If, if you if you didn't have young children and uh, you never watched, there's two movies that you should probably watch because we've actually done it to our own earth. One is uh, Wally, the movie Wally about the little robot. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're not far from it, bro. We're not far from it. You know, when they're living on a ship and everything is, <laughs> yeah, the drinks just show up. Like, there's literally robots. That just- <laughs> They just stick these 44 ounces of pure poison and toxicity in front of you. And it's like, yay, we're in, <laughs> we're in the movie. And the other one is, oh, man, what's the name of it? It's D, it starts with an L, I think. It's about the, you might know it. It's about the little guy. He's orange, the Lorax. Lorax. The Lorax. And, and there's a song in it that's so funny. It's like. I just went swimming and now I glow and they pull this kid out of the pool and he's like a glowing, <laughs> he's like a science experiment because he's swimming in like battery acid, right? And they have to plant fake trees and they have to sell oxygen. It got so bad they had to sell oxygen. So you guys, this is just getting started and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's actually really small right now. It's going to get really, really, really big right. and it's going to be, that's going to mean everything to us because that means we're impacting more and more lives. I just want to say that if you want to be involved in something that's a lot of fun, uh, what's going to be trending in the near future is elimination. Believe it or not, we were onto something. We really were onto something because you got to get off everything you're eating. It's all hurting you. You have no freaking idea. I used to take two handfuls of vitamins, Two handfuls of vitamins on a daily basis, and I wasn't any better for it, not even a little bit. Yeah, There, there was a reason for that. 
by the way. There was a reason for that because just like they say you can't outwork a bad diet, okay? you can't outwork a bad diet, you better get to whatever is causing you that pain and whatever is inhibiting those results. Well, did we not crack the code? I mean, we did, man. We cracked the code. Like this is an answer for everybody. That's the way I see it, just like you now. I see it as an answer for everybody. Let's just go out and help more people. I mean, if you knew how good you could feel and, and you couldn't help but tell other people about it, you couldn't help it because you'd look at people and if you love people, you'd say, they deserve it. They deserve it. They deserve it. They deserve it. We all, it's our natural birthright. Yeah. And that's the beautiful thing is how it's grown. It's shared so authentically, so yeah. genuinely off of pure results of people coming alive physically and mentally. And wow. how can you not scream from the rooftops? If you've been suffering for years and all of a sudden within six, seven, hell, even if it took you 30 days for crying out loud, and then you feel what we're trying to express to you that you can feel that that's what this is. It's just such a genuine, real, authentic movement. And that's probably the thing that I love so much about this is that we can be who we are. Everyone else can be who they are. And collectively together, we're just this perfect mesh of of awesomeness, of just freaking awesomeness. I don't know how else to describe it, dude. I mean, it's just awesomeness. It's it's what I eat, sleep, and drink every day. There's there's nothing in my mind that can change my thought process now. I I've, I I actually tried to prove this wrong. Do you know that I ran a Georgia death race doing this and tried to prove it? I was like, ah, oh, I couldn't do that. And once I did that, I was like, oh, this is just the way. This is just the way, and I've I've done it all. So listen, man. I love you like a brother. I, I just love you. I just love, love you for as a human being. Um, I'm love so you. grateful. I'm so grateful to you. I can't thank you enough. Um, you just saved me, dude. You you saved me, and I just uh, I'm gonna tell you that until literally till we die, because it means so much to me. It truly, truly means so much to me. And for me, for you to give me that that chance to be able to pass that on. Um, it's filled holes in me that you, I know, you know, but like, I don't even know if you know the holes that it's filled and I'm just forever what grateful. I, what I do know is that I, I'm a good judge of character and you are a very good person. Um, that's what, that much I do know. And, and the other thing that I do know is that your shred wouldn't be, uh, you know, this is getting a little mushy now. We, we might, uh, <laughs> we got a little romance going on here. <laughs> but EO Shred would not would not be what it is without you. So thank you so much. Oh, uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And we appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys for giving us your time. Thank you for trusting in us. I know it sins crazy because it's not the norm, but what we're coming to find out is maybe the norm shouldn't have been the norm in the first place. And we're coming back to our true real authentic selves and we just we want to invite you to join us if you're not with us yet we want to invite you to join us and then just just at least check it out just at least check it out with an open mind that's all we can ask for you so i can't wait uh to get together with everybody i can't wait to do all these bigger things i mean it is gonna be oh bro it is going to be epic when we can finally all get back together. Guys, tomorrow night, uh, we have our amazing uh, Shred Your Testimonial call at 8 p.m. Eastern. We do that every single Wednesday. Please jump on. Go to ershred.com. You can find the link there. Every Tuesday, we have another epic interview where we dive deep and we explore somebody who's just absolutely crushed this and taken back control of their life. And on Thursday, another really valuable part that I don't think people really grasp just quite yet, but we're hoping to change that to show you how valuable that is. But our our, uh, our financial side with Bob Sivright and sharing the shred the right way, the, the real way, the authentic way. It is one of the most beautiful things that can ever be done. And, and it's selfish if we don't. I believe it's selfish if we don't share that gift that, that we were given um, and be able to pass that on to other people. So, Sean, 
on behalf of myself and everybody, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. Thank Crystal. I know you guys sacrifice so much time with, with the kids and in life and doing what you do. And I know that there are so many people that are so, so thankful uh, for you guys and, 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 you know, for you guys allowing each other to do that. And, and I appreciate that. I know so many other Jesse, people. Jesse, you and I both know this. The, the only the, the way if you want to feel something pretty special, if you want to feel good, help somebody. Help somebody. Help somebody. And I'm telling you, man, like, I think there's a reason we all love those superhero movies. Like, we all want to be that superhero. Well, this gives you that opportunity. For sure. All right, guys. Have an amazing night. We thank you so much. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.